Good freaking morning, boys and girls. Glad to see your happy faces again. Welcome to Nick's Sport. My name is Nick, and today I'm going to share with you my method for organizing my video projects. I have developed this over the past 10 years of working in video production. If you are new here and you're not subscribed, please do so below. It is free, and without further ado, into the organization. <laughs> First off, I'm hooking you guys up with some tools and templates that you can use to organize your video footage that I've built over the last 10 years working in video production. They are free, they're linked below, and after you watch this, they're gonna all make sense and they're gonna help you organize your footage. Phase one is hard drives and labeling. So 10 years ago when I started working in video production, I worked at MTV and they had a system where they labeled all their tapes, yes tapes, not hard drives, and was put into a data boss, AKA a database. And I've made one in Google Sheets for you guys to use. So I'm gonna show you how to label your hard drives and put them into a database to keep your hard drives organized from the get go. I've been using Lacey and Glyphy. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, hard drives for the past 10 years and I haven't had an issue. I've linked below to my two favorite hard drives. If you're interested in checking them out, check them out below. So every time you buy a new hard drive, you're simply gonna wrap some tape around the hard drive and then you're gonna label it in, and you're gonna do it sequentially. So in my labeling system, I do video-001. That's the first hard drive. The second hard drive is video-002 and so on. This allows you to have up to 99 different hard drives in that system for that labeling system. I've been doing it for 10 years and I've got 40 of that particular naming scheme. So, you got plenty of room. And then now we're gonna take that hard drive and we're gonna dive into the edit. All right, so now we are in the edit suite and we are going to jump in to Organizational 101 database. So open up the Google Sheets document that I linked below. All right, so we have our hard drive labeled in real life and now I'm going to add it into my Excel sheet. Go to Properties check out how much free space we have and how much use space we have. Put that information into the Excel sheet. So I took the total space that we have here, which is 931 gigabytes. And then I did the available remaining free space right here, which is 51. I'm gonna round down. I'm gonna pop in the date, which is now. And we are going to look at the format. We have an NTF. S format, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that down, and it is a Glyphy hard drive, and I'm going to highlight it all and make it green. And then I'm gonna put this little check box next to it, copy and paste it over, that means that the information is accurate and updated. So as you work through this document, you're going to add your project names over here also. So if I go over to my Finder folder, I'm gonna see inside of here I have some projects. So for in, for example, I'm going to take the Rockies Crater's name and I'm going to copy that over, put it here, and the hard drive is video-040. It's not backed up yet. There, the date again. And that project size itself is 103 gigabytes. So I'm gonna add that in, 103, and then I'm gonna highlight this red because if you look over here, there's a key, it needs to be backed up. It is not backed up here, but I will back it up soon enough. This allows you to keep track of your current projects on all of your hard drives over in this space and all of your hard drives, how much space they have and your backups. I also do photo inside of here too in terms of my structure for keeping track of everything. Um, I keep my photos on separate drives but I label them separately. All right, so now that we have our information into our Excel sheet, we are going to make a new project. So I have this folder called a template project. This is a turnkey solution for every single project I have. It's amazing. So if I click into it, you're gonna see that it has all these folders already set up inside of cuts, we already have a project set up. Inside of my graphics folder, I have all of my general graphics that I use. Inside of my sound effects, I have this general sound effects that I use. Some of these are empty, my footage folder has an empty proxy folder. 
because that's something that I will use and I'll add footage into here as I go. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make a copy of it and then I'm going to paste that here. So I'm actually gonna rename that folder to the name of my project, which I would then put into Google Sheets and have that information in there. And then inside of that, I'm going to go to cuts and I'm gonna rename the cut from template project to the name of my project, which is Nick's Fort intro 01. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up that project file and it's gonna launch a premiere. We have our template project open here. And inside of this, you'll see there's already been set up. We have some sound effects from our finder window that are imported. We have some graphics that are imported. Everything's linked up inside your footage folder. That's where you're gonna add, you know, the different camera footage that you have. There's a sequence in here. This is the 1080 sequence. So I'm gonna, I'm, I have a sequence ready to go already. Even if I'm shooting in 4K, I'm still going to downsize it to 1080 before I export. So I've got that set up and ready to go. I don't even have to think about it. I just drop my footage on that sequence and I'm ready to go. So you'll see that these bins are already set up for you. It's gonna save you a ton of time. And instead of diving into this and building it out, I'm actually just gonna show you a project that is already done in this fashion using this template. We're in the Rockies Creators Project, which was a vlog that I shot, and you'll see I have all these versions of the file. So I'm gonna click on 10, which is the most recent version, and we're gonna open that up. So that number sequence where it's Rockies Creators underscore nine, Rockies Creators underscore 10, and it starts at one, that's a redundancy thing that you wanna do just to make sure you don't lose your file and your work. So I've had files corrupt on me after six hours of working and you lose everything. And autosave helps and can save you from having that happen, but I've had situations where it didn't. So this is just another redundancy to keep all of your work saved. It's a good way to progress and be safe and have that redundancy in there. So I highly recommend it. If you do it, it doesn't take that much time. It's, it's super simple actually. Let's go, we just opened the project and we're gonna do some stuff here. So I'm gonna go save as, and I'm gonna do save as 11. So now we're on our next version. So inside of this project, you'll see that we have a, a similar system in terms of naming for the, fought, for the sequences, okay? So if you open up Creators 1, that's mostly just the raw footage kind of color coded. You know, I'll, I'll do mango for slow-mo and I'll do iris for regular motion. Um, and you know, I'll do teal for like the talking head stuff. Uh, but basically you have your, your footage laid out on a timeline. And then as you work, you're gonna save new versions of it until you finally get to a point where you have your edit laid out nicely. And then you're gonna finalize that and it's a similar idea is that as you work, you can go back, oh, you know, there's something in that second version, that little thing that I did over here that I really wanna check out and go back to. So it's a way of, it's a way of moving forward in your edit with, a, with the ability to step back and say, I really like that thing I did two versions ago. I'm gonna bring that to the most recent version. So you just keep going and you keep making versions as you go until you get to your final edit. And you'll see inside of here in the footage folder, We've broken it down by camera type and that footage in there. And that's the same in our corresponding folder in here. As you import your footage into your project, you're gonna build out these folders and fill up your folders with the footage that is appropriate for those cameras to keep it nice and organized. And you can see inside of here, you've got your graphics and your music and some sequences that we nested and our sound effects. And it's all nice and clean and tidy. And then when you finally export your project, you're gonna export it out and it's gonna go right into this folder, exports, and you're gonna have your final edits right here. You pop them open, hit play, and you got your, you got your final project. It's all nice and buttoned up and super organized. It took me a long time to get this system put in place. It might not be the best system, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you do it differently or if you think I could add something to make it even better. But I hope that these tools help you out. And if you like this video, please give that thumbs up a clickety clackety. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do so below. It is free. And I am looking forward to A, getting rid of this freaking cold and also B, seeing all of your lovely faces in the next video. Peace.